each other again. Did you say something to him? Yes. Uh, what did you say? I said I thought you were dead and if you died, I would have killed you. Yes. I was very upset with him because of how did you why did you choose to travel alone? Um, well, one time um, my brother and I were traveling and he uh, disappeared. We were in Africa and I couldn't oh contact him. I was trying to call him. Actually, I thought that somebody had kidnapped him, but it ended up being a situation where he lost his phone. I've been, that's my big brother, and I've been traveling with him out of the country since I was 16 years old, okay? And there's always something that happens with him, and that's probably one of the reasons I travel solo now. I think it's been a very long and stressful two years uh, for me personally, so I wanted a bit of alone time to go and travel and explore. You can do what you want, you get up in the morning, you make your plans, you don't have to, like, you know, agree with everybody, anybody else. Why did you choose to travel with these people? Um, for me, I guess they're, you know, close friends and like we've traveled before. For Carlson, he's someone that will like speak his mind. He is good at like controlling his emotions, which I think is just great in any friend. Uh, we're boyfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> uh, I decided to take him with me because it's my birthday trip. In Taiwan, there are many people say that a couple shouldn't travel together, especially go abroad. And do you agree or disagree? I agree. Young couples. Sometimes you can see the good side or the bad side. So if you're a very young couple and you see the bad side, you might break up. <laughs> <laughs> but we've been together a long time, so it's okay. Uh, if you are going to travel alone, what would you be worried about? Like maybe if I wanted to go eat at a restaurant and didn't have anyone to go with, uh, it felt awkward to sit there by yourself. I think it'd be like getting lost and just like not having someone there to like figure out navigations with or like if I lost my passport, it's like, oh no, what am I gonna do now? Situation. The only thing sometimes I worry about is, you know, like getting sick when you're traveling, like, you know, with COVID. I'm sure I'm, I'm safe. So yeah, I also make sure that I travel to a country where it's considered uh, safe for women. I guess if I went to a country that was like, didn't speak a lot of English, uh, I'd probably be worried about like communicating, but I probably wouldn't do that. I mean, maybe, who knows, we'll see, but it's probably my biggest worry. Good and how about if you go to somewhere and you want to take a picture by yourself? I'm asking the first local I see, hey man, take a picture of me right now, please. Or just, I just won't take a picture. Yes, uh. I'll just, I'll just, <laughs> selfish, baby. Before traveling, were you worried about encounter any situation, like awkward or dangerous or inconvenient situations? No. I, like I said again, I'm from Los Angeles, California, and if I was going to encounter something, it would more than likely be there. I survived this far, and yeah, I don't really worry about negative stuff. I'd much rather focus on positivity. I was just worried about the usual things like, okay, being stolen, being robbed in the streets, but everything like went well, so yeah. And how about like when you go to somewhere and you're worried about your luggage, no one can look after for you? Uh, here in Taiwan, I would feel safe like leaving someone taking care of the of my luggage. But I've been in Thailand and Vietnam, and I always had to carry carry my luggage with me because those places are a bit different. So, have you ever traveled with companions or with? Group? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And have you ever had arguments or unhappy experience while traveling with them? Who wants to argue with me? I'm one of the most peaceful person on the planet. That's not because you just mentioned that you, your brother did disappear. Oh, that was in that was in South Africa. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you met each other again, yeah. did you have? Uh, did you say something to him? Or yes. Have, what did you say? I said I thought you were dead, and if you died, I would have killed you. <laughs> yes. I was very upset with him because how did you lose your phone? Who wants to argue with me? I'm one of the most peaceful person. <laughs> We went to Barcelona a couple months ago together and um, we just split the group. We had like a, an argument of those who wanted to cycle and those who wanted to walk. And we just said like, okay, everyone choose their own activity and we'll do it this way. But yeah, it was not very nice to have the group split.
规划行程，要带爸爸妈妈出去玩，所以我们就规划得很详细。可是没有想到父母的那个就是体力可能不如年轻人们，所以我们去环球玩，我们就已经有买 express 票，可是还是要冲。然后结果我爸就说：“等一下，现在是逃难哦。”他就很生气。看看吧，你啦！请我们不要再再规划这种行程。Did you have like argument or did you have a different opinion? Oh, for sure. I mean, it's, it's natural to butt heads, but I think you know that's what life is. You gotta be able to like deal with butting heads, deal with adversity with people, and then get through that. Like. Dude, I mean, we could argue about like whether the sky is blue or not. Like, just any, like any, anything or something real silly, you know. Like, we don't. As a group, we're really like don't get actually upset. Yeah, we we want. I wanted to eat Japanese. She wanted Italian food, so we started to box. And I thought I was gonna win because I'm a boy, but she knows boxing. So yeah, I I almost died in Taipei. And so overall, do you prefer traveling alone or with companions? I prefer alone. I don't have to wait for anyone to finish eating at lunchtime. I don't have to wait for anyone to wake up in the morning. Uh, I can do everything in my own timings and I can explore by myself without having to worry too much about other people's agendas. I like the freedom it gives me. I think I like certain journeys alone and I like certain journeys with a companion. Um, if you can travel with a companion who accepts you wanting to be alone for some of the time, that's the best. Then you have a good companion. I would say with company. It's always nice to have someone who'll take the photos of you. Yeah, traveling in groups is really fun because you get a different diversity of ideas and perspectives. So for instance, on our trip, you get a bigger um, opportunity to try things that you might not have tried before, which is really fun. I think it depends because the beach, that's fun with a group of friends. But if you're traveling, let's say to think like you want to write music or write a story it's nice to travel by yourself it's easier to discover what you're looking for and if someone is coming to taiwan do you uh, recommend them to travel alone or with group yeah i would think it's it's kind of easy to travel alone i mean it's very easy to get around you know the trains and everything it's very easy to get around the major issue might have been food like eating out um because if you go at like a certain time, like for dinner, the restaurants would be full. You know, where everybody goes and you're alone, people are always like, oh, he's going out to play table by himself. Also, a little, that's also in other countries, not just, just our one side. Yeah.